Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me and thank you for joining me for another street photography video. Today I'm in Antwerp and uh, today I'm shooting with the Fuji XC4 and uh, I got the 18mm f2 from the lovely people at PCH. Um, no introduction needed, PCH is a camera shop in Brussels with uh, very competent stuff and very lovely stuff. Uh, feel free to check it out for yourself. Once again, thank you, uh, thank you PCH for lending me the, um, uh, the lens for today. I'm gonna probably spend half of the day here in Antwerp shooting street photography and uh, it's gonna be all Fuji. I'm really pumped, uh, the weather looks pretty good. I'm gonna probably have half, an, uh, half a day as well in, uh, in Brussels, but uh, I'm not sure. And um, so this is the plan to get some, uh, some cool shots with the Fuji um, uh, today. And I'm gonna talk um, a little bit later uh, why I made a mistake with the Fuji uh, XC4 and 27 millimeters, but this is gonna be later on in the video. Let's uh, get some warm-up shots here and then uh, maybe head to the city center for some candy shots. And uh, yeah, thank you again for being here. Thank you again uh, uh, for being part of this channel. And feel free to subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And feel free to give me a thumbs up. And uh, let's take some, uh, some cool shots. There's a nice spot there. So I'm trying to get a silhouette just in the, in the frame there. Looks pretty nice. Just trying in different frames, different framing. because the window is a little bit um, dirty and uh, has like a filter look.
One cigarette, please. No, I don't. I don't smoke. I don't have any cigarettes. Sorry. Before carrying on with the video, I want to explain why um, I made a mistake choosing the um, uh, Fuji XC4 with the 27mm uh, lens. Not to be misleading, um, I love the camera and uh, I was wrong in choosing the 27mm. To give you a, a quick background, I bought the Fuji XC4, the body only um, uh, in second hand. It was a very good price and I said to myself, I may uh, need a, a, backup, a backup camera to my, uh, to my Leica Q2 and I bought it without the lens. And afterwards I had the 27mm um, lens for a day and uh, actually this lens comes uh, um, as a kit with a, with a body. And um, I had it for one day in Brussels and I really loved how the, the form factor looks and it's, it's very tiny, you can almost put it in your pocket if you want. Um, so I said to myself this is the perfect lens for the camera. This is, the, this is how the Fuji 80mm looks compared to 27mm. And this is the Fuji uh, XC4 compared to my Leica Q2 uh, without a hood. But uh, after a couple of months, I realized that I don't use it as much uh, as I wanted. Actually, I rarely use it. So um, one of the main reasons was the, the focal length. I didn't feel like comfortable with a 27 uh, millimeters uh, focal length on the street. This is uh, the equivalent of the 40 millimeters in uh, 41 millimeters in full frame, if I'm not wrong. But this was just my, my personal choice. I, for example, my friend uh, Jeremy, which you saw um, several times in, um, on this channel, he loves and his favorite focal length is uh, 41 millimeters. Uh, but this is not for me. And when I bought the camera uh, with the 27 millimeters, I said to myself, I'm just gonna buy, buy this like a backup camera. And if I need more reach, I'm gonna just use the 27 millimeters, which is 40 millimeters. So it's gonna complement a little bit the, my Leica Q2. But um, that wasn't the solution. For me, getting better pictures is to get closer. And uh, I don't need more reach. I just need to get closer in the streets in order to get better shots. This is my style. It may work for you or not, but for me, I need to get uh, to get closer in order to get um, better shots. So I was wrong in choosing the 27 millimeters lens, uh, not the camera. I love the Fuji XC4. I love the focus. It's very, it's very quick. It's very snappy. Uh, it's very accurate as well. And uh, one thing that Fuji camera uh, gives me and other cameras don't is um, when you look on the screen on the on the pictures, uh, it just gives you that feel to to, to get more pictures, to shoot more. Uh, maybe it's the fact that you can see the, the simulation applied to the pictures and they, the pictures look pretty good. Uh, one thing I'm not quite happy with the camera is that it takes... I have to press the button twice in order to, um, to get it out of sleep mode or... Uh, uh, it's just not that responsive as my Leica Q2. But otherwise, I, I love this camera. So um, I'm gonna probably... I'm, I'm gonna certainly uh, sell my 27mm. Um, and uh, or swap uh, swap it for uh, 18 millimeters. So um, if you're around uh, Brussels or uh, I don't know Belgium, France, the Netherlands, and uh, you want to swap a lens or um, you want to buy the 27 millimeter lens, just uh, drop me a message uh, on Instagram or um, um, on YouTube. If everything works fine, I'm gonna probably be soon uh, traveling to um, to Istanbul, to London, and to Barcelona. So if you're around, I'm gonna post this on Instagram when I'm uh, when I'm gonna travel. Uh, feel free to, to drop me a message, maybe we're gonna go out and shoot together. So feel free to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, feel free to subscribe to the channel and see you very soon.